What's up guys? I'm going to do a real quick video of how this adapter goes together in case more people start buying it and uh, you need like a fitment guide. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. So here we have the back of a 302 Ford. And uh, so this is my original adapter plate. The one you'll get will not have this added piece. It will be all one piece. It'll be a little thinner and it'll fit like it's supposed to for the starter. So ideally what you'll do is when you get your adapter plate, you have to tap the two starter holes for the 3 8 by 16. And then if you choose to, you can always countersink that hole there and the third one up on the left and run a uh, 7 16 by 14 I don't know like a one inch long three quarter inch long countersink to capture there and capture there uh, the dowel pins you have to knock out of your block and you'll just run a half inch tap half inch by 13 so this is what I used it's uh, I think it's a three inch three and a half inch maybe and the idea is when all this threads through you're going to end up with about that much of it going into the block and that's what aligns the transmission to the motor through the original dowel pin. So these will thread in there and it's probably better to be a little long than a little short because it has to go through well, this one got hung up but it has to go through the casting which you can kind of see there. Oh, Let's see here through the casting there it is through the casting and that's how you know that it gets nice and snug and that's kind of what holds everything together same thing on this side these will run down yep about like that and it will actually stick through the back a touch if it actually does it but yeah so these are what align the transmission to the block so it needs to be kind of a tight fit and then these are just your standard 716 by 14 bolts at the top so then i'll show you what that looks like on the transmission side so now we're over here on the transmission side and show you real quick what that would look like so uh, you have this 10 mil by one, I believe is what this is. Kind of anchors the bottom where the starter's gonna go. Uh, so your dowel pin and dowel pin. I took the transmission. Whoa. Took the transmission. And I just ran a half inch drill bit through the factory transmission hole there. Because I think it's really like an 11 mil or some crazy. So you need to neck it up to get that to slide through there and that's about how much thread you'll have sticking out that's about how much thread you'll have sticking out into the motor and that's what aligns that there and same on this side so technically i could have found a bolt that was a little bit longer or more shoulder would stick out into the block to where the dowel pin would go and then the thread would come out past so i mean that's up to you and then really it looks like countersink and a countersink and then, so this bolt hole gets omitted. It doesn't even get used, which is fine. I guess in theory, if somebody wanted to, you could really countersink that and use that as an additional mounting onto the block, but I don't think you really need to because you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, mounting points. And then because this is only quarter inch plate, when the torque converter all goes together, uh, the distance from here, flush, so the flex plate ends up the correct depth to go to your crank pilot and I believe every time I checked it this pilot on the snout of the torque converter is the same as your factory 302 crank and I would assume your 351 Windsor crank since a 4R70W torque converter fits the same flex plate. So I believe this was like the 11 and a half inch spread whatever the metric equivalent is I'll have to double check that. but. Yep, that's how the fitment works. Should be like 11 and 3 eighths. Somewhere in there, 11 and a half, 11 and 3 eighths, something like that. So, which happens to be the same pattern that's available on your small block Ford.